Thank you for the opportunity today. It's my pleasure to introduce Navadi to the Stock Network, I believe for the very first time. As quick background, I've been the CEO for a little over a year and we are deep into a transformation of the company. There is a new management team, a new strategy, and we have been consistently executing on that strategy through FY24 with a clear pathway to positive operating cash flow. As a company, our vision is to be the leading total payment solutions provider across Australia and New Zealand, centered on serving medium-sized businesses as our target customer. What exactly does that mean and how are we different? In the payments world, most providers operate a single product or are focused on a single leg of the end-to-end -end payments value chain. The Navadi difference our strength and our competitive advantage is our full payment stack and the ability to provide a comprehensive solution for all types of payments across the end-to-end -end value chain. The problem we're solving for our customers is the alphabet soup of providers and technologies that medium-sized businesses tend to aggregate over time in different parts of their business. Navadi can replace all of those via a single relationship. We provide a full set of payment acceptance products and processing, both card and non-card payments, and both in-store and online. We provide international cross-border payments through our global foreign currency accounts, remittance, and Asian wallet processing for WeChat Pay and Alipay. We are a principal member of Visa and can issue prepaid and debit cards for a range of use cases, including rewards and loyalty. We also have a successful alternate payment options, including voucher-based pins, e-money and digital wallets, and our fiat-backed stablecoin for use on a variety of blockchains. The benefits of this ecosystem are, it enables us to deliver fully integrated digital solutions for our customers. We can support our customers for longer and deeper, and we deliver consistent payment experiences on every sales channel for our customers. Our new strategy is essentially based on simplifying historically a very complex portfolio of businesses. The three key legs are to simplify and focus on total payment solutions and then exit all of our non-core businesses over time. In our core business to transition to a market-led customer-focused operating model and to lift our financial performance with a near-term target of achieving positive operating cash flow and mid-term target of achieving 70% plus gross margin in our core business from circa 45% today. The exciting news is that our total payment solutions business is growing well and we expect to continue that growth. In FY24, this division delivered just under $14 million of revenue as a share of $42.9 million of revenue from the entire group. Over the last three years, this division has grown revenue at a CAGA of 65%, and this division is already our core engine of growth and provides the largest gross margin contribution. In summary, Navadi is a very focused business and very well positioned to leverage the ongoing transition to the digital economy. There is a new vision and strategy of enablement around delivering total payment solutions. The new management team has very strong experience and track record of scaling payments businesses, both in Australia and internationally. We are streamlining our portfolio. Asset sales are underway for assets that sit outside our core payments AUNZ division, and this will provide the business with capital management options. All of our operating and financial metrics are moving in the right direction. Year on year, revenue is up and our costs are down. And we have a clear three year gross margin target of 70% for FY27. We have an additional stage of cost reduction underway now and we're on track to deliver that in Q2 of FY25. And with this activity and continued growth, we now have a clear line of sight on achieving our number one corporate goal of getting the business to a turning point 
of generating positive operating cash flow on a go-forward basis early in calendar 2025. Thank you for your time. And if there's continued interest or questions, then please reach out directly.